They've worked their whole lives for this moment. With the first pick. NFL dreams will come true at tonight's NFL draft. But minus the suits, the crowds, the walk across stage, the jerseys, and that commissioner moment that have come to define the annual event. Even though the draft won't be like how we envisioned it, it's still going to be crazy just to be a part of it. The COVID-19 pandemic means the NFL draft will have to go virtual. Draftees will still hear Commissioner Roger Goodell call their names, but from his basement and in their living rooms. So exactly how is this going to work? All 32 teams will be on a video conference together. And since team facilities are closed, the decision makers can't gather in their traditional war rooms to discuss picks. They'll have to do that remotely before ultimately passing along their pick to the commissioner who'll make the announcement. Top prospects like presumptive number one pick quarterback Joe Burrow of LSU were sent cameras and equipment to capture their reactions. And specialists have been working overtime to make sure there's enough broadband and security. What could go wrong? It sounds like the plan for draft night is to wing it. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> how are y'all going to do this? We'll see how it goes. I think it's going to be a technical feat, okay? That's what we're going to call it. That's what it's going to get pulled off. And it's not going to be flawless, but it'll be exactly what we need. A sports-starved country will get a look at the NFL future. And some players, like expected top pick Chase Young, are determined not to let anything ruin their big night. I'm wearing my shoes. I got to look shop. This is still will be my day. And they do uh, have a draft-a-thon they're having tonight on some of their online properties, the NFL, to raise money for COVID-19 relief. And, of course, Robin, I know you're about to talk to the commissioner. A big tradition is he's booed when he comes out on stage. They do have a way for him to be virtually booed tonight. So I'm sure he appreciates me ending on that point, Robin.